We continue with the sermon series, The Great Divide. There's a great divide politically in this nation. Some call it conservative and some call it liberal. We'll be talking more about that in just a moment. Some call it traditional. Some call it woke. There's a great divide between a biblical worldview and a secular worldview. And the opposing forces that have these positions aren't drawing closer to solving a problem. They're arguing positions and the problems in our world are only getting worse. Now, the divide between us and God is so great that without a mediator, we have no hope. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to bridge that great divide between us and God in heaven. That's where the great divide was bridged. And what did God do with Jesus Christ who humbled himself to the point of death on the cross? The Bible says that he has exalted him. And he has seated him at the right hand of God the Father. And he now has been given the name, not a name, but the name that is above every name. And at the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess to the glory of God the Father. My prayer today in this sanctuary is that in the mighty name of Jesus, we recognize the truth and the revelation of God's word and that the hand of God would move in this place to set families straight, to set marriages straight, to set lives straight, to change the destiny of a nation. You say, pastor, that's impossible. I'm here to tell you today that with my God, all things are possible. 